Hey guys, welcome to another video. Ooh, God Shard 2. And I realized that I've never done a full video about this Arch Linux update indicator. There's also a Fedora one, by the way, too. And what this thing allows you to do, it allows you to see your updates for Arch Linux right here. So you can check, you can update now. And I didn't realize there's a settings panel right here. Now, this is kind of important to me because um, you go to advanced, you can change the terminal. So as you said, as I said in that other video, uh, I was kind of, you know, disappointed that you couldn't swap terminals. I are dumb. Yeah, I'm just going to say it like that. I are dumb. And you can swap out terminals by just changing it to the name of the terminal you want to use. So if you used Ghostly, you can change it to Ghostly. Literally the most overhyped terminal in all of existence, by the way. I'm glad that people are done yapping about it. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. Command to open up package manager. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Check that out. PackSeq. Wow. So that's pretty cool. If I check now, it doesn't do anything. Wait, can we use PackSeq to actually... Because it does technically execute. I know this is silly, but... Let's... let's I want to see what happens. Okay. Uh, it doesn't do anything because we don't have any updates. Oh, I know how we can get updates, though. You do not want to do what I'm about to do. But if you do want to do what I'm about to do, well, uh, feel free. Because I'm a nut job, and this is what I do best. We're going to do yay. I'm going to grab downgrade. And I'm going to install downgrade. I'm doing this just for you guys, okay? Then I'm going to do sudo downgrade. Uh, let's say mutter. Okay, and we need to go back to here. I know this is a bit weird. You guys are probably not used to seeing this. And we're going to hit no. And then what's going to happen is it's going to pop up as an update. We're going to hit update now. Nope. So that is not a thing. So PTYXYX and... Let's see if it does it now. Oh, it does. There we go. See, it's right there. Uh, one second. I got to exit this terminal right here. And we're going to zoom in. Enter our password. Enter our password. And there we go. It's going to update us to the newest version. So as you can see, we can definitely swap terminals, which is nice. And there's a bunch of other settings as well, but we're going to go over that in a second because I don't I don't want to update that. I want to actually go back to an older version of Mutter because it's just more stable that way. So I guess let's take a look at the settings. Use built in icons. What does that do? I don't know what that does. Uh, show update count on indicator. Correct. Um, position in panel. Let's do center. And your updates can be right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a menu. So auto expand update list if count is less than. Okay, that's pretty cool. Strip out version numbers. So you can strip out the version numbers if you wanted to. Send a notification when new updates are available. Sure. Uh, counts only. New update names. Like you can do everything. That's pretty cool. And strip out version updates. Okay. And then here's where you end up um, checking on certain things one second i have to gather those stuff right there and again command to open up a package manager it's optional we choose PackSeq, and yeah pacman local directory path so it, you know you have to know where pacman is disable output parsing count every line as an update this is an old behavior okay and then there's the aboot page so we're on version 63 which is interesting. Now I did do um, a pull request to this extension to basically mention that you can change the kernel, not the kernel, the terminal uh, in advanced settings. And hopefully they merge that. So it's a lot easier for people to understand. But when they come to this video, now they know that they can do it. And it's great. Uh, great settings panel, very well laid out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, do all that cool stuff because it really does help. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.